Hanging Bram fans, welcome back to your Thursday night sports show, The Blitz Season 2. I'm Madeline Davis filling in for Brendan Fairbairn tonight while he travels back from unpacking all the action from the Mountain West Women's Basketball Tournament down in Vegas. And speaking of unpacking all the action, that's exactly what we will be doing here tonight. I will be previewing CSU's opening matchup in the conference tourney and then giving you the complete rundown on how the Rockies are looking down in Scottsdale for spring training. With all of this being said, I have a full show for you all, so let's get into it. Earlier in the week, a trio of Rams were named to the Mountain West Coaches All-Conference Team for Men's Basketball, including sophomores David Roddy and Isaiah Stevens, and junior guard Adam Thistlewood. Out of these three staples of Coach Medved's squad, Roddy received the highest accolades with a first-team recognition at forward thanks to his team leading 16.6 points, 9.6 rebounds, and blocks per game. And let's not forget about his second-year running mate, Isaiah Stevens, who earned a spot on the second team averaging 15 points, 4.6 rebounds, and 5.9 assists, and acting as the distributor for a Rams offense that ranked third in the conference. Last but not least, we have Adam Thistlewood, who received the first postseason recognition of his career with a spot as an honorable mention. All in all, it's a critical that this trio plays their best ball to catapult CSU hoops to a March Madness appearance with a successful run in Las Vegas, Nevada for the Mountain West Tournament. CTV sports reporters Ethan Bird and Rachel Hallam are down there right now to tell us about what to expect tonight from these three and the rest of the Rams in their 9.30 p.m. showing against the Fresno State Bulldogs. What should CSU fans be keeping an eye out for, guys? Thanks, Madeline. Ethan Bird and Rachel Hallam here at the Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas, Nevada, where CSU has a big night ahead of them going up against the number six seed, Fresno State, after they just took down New Mexico last night. Ethan, what are we looking forward to here for the Rams? Well, really, last night, the Lobos gave the Rams the recipe to beat Fresno State tonight. You, you shut down Orlando Robinson and you rain down the threes from from the perimeter, you can beat any team, but especially Fresno State, who has a pretty weak perimeter defense, and Orlando Robinson is the heart and soul of the team. You shut him down and you get him frustrated, which David Roddy can do, and Kendall Moore can defend from anywhere. That's how the Rams win tonight. Absolutely, but you can't miss out on Isaiah Hill and Deion mm -hmm. Stroud. All three of these players on the Fresno State are averaging double digits on their points in every game, and for CSU, they just need to capitalize on that offense. Again, obviously, Orlando is a huge miss for, or a huge hit for the Fresno State and definitely needs to be uh, controlled by the Rams. But you talk about David Roddy and mm -hmm. Kendall Moore. You also need to look at the X factors for the Rams here tonight. Yep. I mean, Adam Thistlewood has had a rough couple of games rough lately, lately, and he needs to be picking that back up. Both him and uh, you have Kendall Moore and obviously uh, PJ Bird and. Yep. Uh, Thomas, too. You just they need to look all around and especially off their bench. Well, expect Kendall Moore to have a big game because he was snubbed again for any Old Mountain West honors. He tweeted uh, last week that the Mountain West missed him again. Keep an eye out, Kendall Moore. The Rams have the recipe to do it. We'll see how they do tonight. Thanks, Madeline. Thanks, Ethan and Rachel. Enjoy that warm Vegas weather while you still can. Las Vegas is not the only place with warm weather these days. Down in Scottsdale, Arizona, the Rockies are at spring training preparing for the 2021 season. With opening day only 21 days away, Denver's pro baseball franchise is getting ready for their home opener on April 1st when they host the reigning world champs, the Los Angeles Dodgers. Looking at the squad's main storylines heading into 2021, Colorado is coming off of a difficult 2020 finishing eight games below 500, as well as a disappointing offseason that saw their star player, third baseman Nolan Arenado, shipped off to the St. Louis Cardinals in exchange for a handful of prospects. With number 28 now gone, there is surely some uncertainty when it comes to who will be filling the massive hole left behind. Some potential names to watch based on their spring results so far are veteran Ryan McMahon, who has been hot at the plate these past two days against the Padres in the D-backs, going two for five with a 400 batting average and two home runs. As well as Colton Welker coming in hot from the plate with a 438 hitting percentage, one homer and eight RBIs. And while he's currently the youngest guy on the Rockies roster at 23, don't be surprised to see him making his major league debut on opening day with how rapidly he's moving up the ranks. 
Moving on to the defensive side, where Colorado struggled mightily last season. Brand new starting pitcher Austin Gomer's recent performance should have Rockies faithful excited. Number 26 was acquired last month in the blockbuster Arnado deal, and this spring has seen him pitch seven scoreless innings that included eight strikeouts with only two walks. Even with their franchise guy now off in Missouri, this newcomer is proving to be a solid addition to a starting rotation for a Colorado that surely needs some work. Well, Ram fans, that's all the sports I have for you this week, but don't you go anywhere. Tom Isaacson is up next to give you everything you need to know about entertainment.